going to run down to the uh, rental yard here. And then I'm gonna run down to the rental yard here. So I've got a little bit of work to this door. I think I have to get a, another door for it. I don't think I'm really gonna be able to fix this, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'm not sure how many excavators they got here at the auction, but I'm hoping, uh, I think the last auction they went for something like $5,000 in excavator. I'm just not sure if I, I know the, the, the ones here, I'm not sure what brand they are, but they're really hard to get parts for, so. thinking too because I uh, I um, when I had the rental excavator it cost it was like the it in the trailer alone was cost was worth like probably like eighty thousand dollars so uh, or more so I the issue one of the issues I'm having with the rent renting is so all my purse all I'm not a big fan of buying brand new vehicles because of the, the price, I find it's a lot cheaper to buy old vehicles. And then, it's like all, all my vehicles, I just have the cheapest insurance on them. So basically, if I get in an accident, nothing I'm, I'm, I'm hauling with my vehicle is gonna be covered by insurance. It's just, uh, I just have the lowest insurance. You, I'm just, I got the insurance just to be legal on the road, basically to cover anybody else if you get in an accident. But uh, if I get in an accident and cause harm to somebody else, my insurance pays for them, but it doesn't pay for, well, it'll pay for me, but it won't pay for my vehicle. So I won't, the insurance company won't pay for any of my like vehicles or anything I'm, I'm, I'm towing with the vehicle. So the issue with having a rental is, well, that's an issue. I, uh, so that's why I hauled the excavator with my mom's truck this year, this last summer, because it's got full insurance because it's a new vehicle and stuff. But anyway, uh, I kind of like the idea of just buying my own, having my own excavator and trailer. That's not, you know, high value in terms of cost. So I just, I can take, so I can take the chance with not having the full coverage and insurance a little easier, I guess. But anyway, I'm gonna grab this pallet and then uh, it's up at the rental yard here. Hopefully they got pallets. Actually, I'm gonna wait on the pallets because I don't got room in the back of the truck. I just realized. Anyway, skip the pallets. There, they are. There are a couple here. I'll get them later. But I'm just gonna check these excavators right now. I guess we can check out the whole everything at the auction here. Show you guys. All right, so here's some excavators here. I'm gonna look here, see what these go for. So we got throttle. This is the throttle. We got lights, the keys. They just got little brakes and strap engines on them.
fucking gas engines on them. I'm interested in right here. Get in here. Huh. I like this little machine. Lockout lever. Yeah, oh, Nick seems kind of nice. I mean, they're cheap. There's a lot of things like they're not nearly as nice as you know a new like a brand name cat or a lot of things. There's little issues, but I mean, when you're talking five thousand dollars for one of these, if that's what they go for, instead of you know hundred thousand, I mean. I can do a little bit of luxury with that. What have they got for an engine? You know, it's got a little diesel. Radiator. I think if I was gonna buy one of these, I I don't want any of those smaller ones. Those are just too small. This one won't be too bad, but I would if I was gonna buy one, I definitely want to buy this guy here. A little nicer. Oh yeah, we actually got a we got a well, same thing. We got a windshield wiper. We got a heater. I don't know if we got air conditioning. Nice little panel here. Of course we got that. These move nice. There's for that. Oh yeah, little fans and fire extinguisher. If I was gonna buy one, I'm not buying this one today, but it's nicer because this has actually the fold down lock. Actually, go to radio. Yeah, if I was gonna buy, spend the money, I definitely want to buy this guy. I think. <laughs> kind of curious. This November, a few days the sale ends. See, I'm not gonna bid on any of these, but just kind of curious on what these actually end up going for.
This would be nice, but I'm not interested in anything like this just because it is older and I just don't want to be bothered with it. Nice size bucket, but. Let's look at some of the vehicles here. See a neat little truck. Not really interested in any of these vehicles. Got a side by side in the quad here. Blade on that one. Yeah, so yeah, as I said, I'm not going to buy anything at this auction here. But, uh, But, um, just kind of seeing what everything goes for because then I can kind of figure out something in the future. Something steel here. So I have something to build on. Keep an eye on. Maybe that's 368, 367. Here we got 369. I'll see what this to All right, I'm just picking up one of these pallets right here. Now I'm heading over to the A&W to uh, have uh, some coffee with some mining friends and my two mining buddies and then I'm going to pick up the boat.
But see right at the A&W? See all of all us miners meet at the A&W, whether it's in Fairview or Quinnell. Taking this boat down all the back roads because the tarp I have on it is not very good, so I kind of got to go 50 kilometers down these back roads. Well, that's a little too fast. They are going to have this tarp and stuff on the boat just kind of for haul, oh, just for sitting, stabilize, just sitting on a property, sitting around. But, uh, for um, uh, driving the boat in the summer, I take every all the covers off it and everything. So then I can go 100 kilometers an hour down the highway. But 